In this video, we're going to continue our series about talking about the different things that you can do in the magic box. Just for a quick reminder, the magic box is that little cardboard box that's located in the right hand side of your toolbar and is the second icon down. It looks like a cardboard box with some blue icons in it in which you can do a number of different things. In today's video is going to be focused about importing images directly onto your canvas using the magic boxes search feature. Once again, that magic box is located directly under your file management and right above your selection tool on the right hand side in your main toolbar. If I go ahead and tap it once, you can see it's going to open up my magic box and I have a number of different things I can choose from. However, the third icon in is going to be my image search. And this is a direct image search going right into the internet and you're going to be able to pull in a number of different images that you can use for your lessons. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to the next page just so I can give you a quick example of how to import it regarding a lesson plan. So as you can see, I have a little lesson about the rainforest tree frogs along with a little big body of text about what they are. However, my students have no idea what they look like because there's no image yet. So I'm going to go to my magic box, the second icon down on the right hand side of my toolbar, left click it once or tap it once, and from there go to my image search with my third icon in. And it looks like a little mountain with a magnifying glass. Now if I go ahead and tap on that search bar, all you need to do is type in exactly what you're looking for. So this is a very similar to Google searches or Bing searches. As you can see, I typed in rainforest tree frog. I'm going to go ahead and hit the enter button and it's going to pop up a ton of different images directly from an image search about the different thing that you looked up. So mine was rainforest tree frogs. In order to place one of these images on your canvas, all you have to do is touch and drag to put it on there. So as you can see, I'm left clicking and holding that left click and dragging it onto my canvas. And what my Viewboard Whiteboard Online is doing now is just going ahead and rendering that and placing it directly on your canvas for you to use. Now, I can go ahead and select it to move it around, to make it bigger by touching and dragging on those circles in the corner. And I now have this like cute little picture of a rainforest tree frog ready for my lesson. Now I hope this lesson helped you out. And if you would like to learn more, continue to keep on watching the YouTube videos to learn more about Whiteboard Online.